Hi, good day everyone. So let's continue our discussion by the means of this pre-recorded video. So let's continue by knowing the siblings or the Mercado family. So as we all know, Rizal's family belong to the Principalia, a, a town consisting of Spaniards. They were one of the richest and distinguished families in Calamba during those times. Because of frugal, frugality and industry, the family was able to build a large stone house that is, uh, I was already explained that one with regards to the house of uh, Dr. Rosel Salwood. When we say the word frugality, it is the quality of being economical with money or food. So meaning literally in that time, um, Jose Rizal is not um, having a problem financially because as, as we all know, um, her, uh, his family is belong to principalias. Aside from that, the family was able to own a horse drone or a carwahe at that time. Um, the house of Osarizal also has a library of more than 1,000 volumes and general goods store in the town. So can you imagine how rich Osarizal in that time? So in addition, to farming of rice or for the business of Jose Rizal or the father of Jose Rizal, um, it has a rice, of course, corn and sugar cane. The family also raised pigs, chicken and turkeys in their background. So I've already also mentioned it um, yesterday or I've already mentioned it on my first discussion. So because of Rizal family was considered as Illustrados, as I've said, it is a it, Jose Rizal's family belongs to Principalia or Illustrados. The children were able to study in exclusive schools of Manila. We will be discovering those schools uh, while ahead of ahead of our discussion. We will know the different school that Dr. Jose Rizal um, go. So during Holidays also, the town fiestas, Christmas seasons, and other big occasions. The mother of Rizal was very gracious, host, host to all visitors. So as you can see, those visitors are the priests, lieutenant of the Guardia Civil, Spanish officials, and Filipinos, and all guests irrespective of color, social position, and economic status. These visitors were treated equally with of course, courtesy and hospital hospitality, such as a wholesome home bread or a wholesome family. So that was the little bit background of the family of Rizal. So in that time, Rizal has no problem with financially because um, they, their family is one of the rich, richest and distinguished families in that time. So let's go now on knowing the, the siblings of Dr. Rosales. So, Don Francisco Mercado Rizal and Theodora Aronso Riolonda Rizal were, ble were blessed with 11 children. So, let's start with the first child of um, Mr. Francisco and Miss Theodora, Mrs. Theodora. We have Saturnina Rizal. So, Saturnina basically born um, in the year of 1851. Uh, please take note with the with a typo with my PowerPoint, it's 1851 to 1913. She was the eldest child of Rizal Alonso marriage. Okay, Saturnina also married with a man named Manuel Timoteo Hidalgo of Tanuan, Batangas. So, Saturnina also has a nickname. Um, basically, his siblings called her Nene. So, that is the eldest child of Rizal Alonso marriage. Next to Saturnina, we have Pasciano. Pasciano, um, born in 1851, also to 1930. So basically, the, the, the gap of Saturnina and Pasciano is only month of born. M month and, of course, the day itself. But the year, same year lang sila ni Pasciano. So Pasciano is the only brother or the only uh, only brother of Jose Rizal and the second child studied at San Jose College in Manila became a farmer and later a general of the Philippine Revolution he was also uh, 
he died sorry sorry he died also an old bachelor though he was a common law wife with Severi severina de Sena. they had two children a boy and a girl so next to pasiano we have narcisa rizal narcisa rizal born in 1852 to 1939 she she was the third child and married to antonio lopez at Morong or at school teacher of Morong Rizal. Her pet name or her nickname was Sisa. Um, her siblings called her Sisa or her nickname. So next to Narcisa, we also have Olympia Rizal, born in 1855 to 1887 the fourth child of Rizal and Alonso marriage and Olympia also married a guy named Silvestre Obaldo. He died in 1887 from a childbirth. So meaning literally in that time when Olympia is a pregnant and giving a birth to her child, doon din siya na doon din siya namatay. O yun din yung rason kung bakit siya namatay. So her nickname was Ipia. Uh, most of the people or the brothers and or the siblings of Olympia called her Ipia. Okay. Next to Olympia, we have Lucia Rizal, born in 1857 to 1919. So uh, Lucia is the fifth child married married to a guy named Martiano Herbosa. So, Lucia also died of a, of a disease named cholera in 1889 and was denied as a Christian burial because he was a brother-in-law of Dr. Jose P. Rizal. So, that was the, the story of the fifth child of Rizal and Alonso, which named Lucia Rizal. Next to Lucia Rizal, we also have Maria Rizal. Maria born in 1859 to 1945. So she is the sixth child married to Daniel Faustino Cruz of Binyan, Laguna. Her nickname was Bing. Okay, everyone called her as Bing. Next to Maria Rizal, we have Concept. Sean, we I no no no. Next to Maria Rizal is we have of course Jose or the the seven child of Rizal and Alonso marriage. It is the second child and the seven. He was executed by the Spaniards on December 30, 1896. Jose also known as the lucky seven. So he lived with a with her wife Josephine Bracken. We will be discussing also the woman of Rizal later on, a pretty Irish girl from Hong Kong. Rizal had a son by her name of Francisco, named after his father. But the son died few years, few hours after birth, and was buried in the Pitan. Rizal's nickname was Pepe. Oh, uh, Take note ha, na nagkaanak si Rizal. Pero after after Bracken giving a birth with his son, namatay din siya. And take note with the name of the son, it is Francisco. The nickname of Rizal, take note also, is Pepe. Okay, let's go now to the next. Next. Um... To the next sibling of Rizal, sorry if it is not included, but in, in your soft copy, nandoon siya. We have Concepcion, the eighth, um, the eighth child of Rizal and Alonso marriage, died at the age of three because of illness. Take note with this. Concepcion in 1862, born in 1862 and died in 1865 because of an illness. Her death was the Rizal first sorrow her pet name was concha okay in that time um the first painful situation that rizal um nangyari kay rizal is yung namatay yung kapatid niya named conception bakit siya namatay because of a certain illness and ilang taon siya namatay three 
years old. Okay, next to Concepcion, we have Josefa. Josefa, born in 1865 to 1945. She remained single and her pet, her pet name was Pangoy. She died at the age of 80 years old. Next to Josefa, we have Trinidad. Trinidad, born in 1868 and died in the year of 1951. Like Josefa, she died an old maid at the age of 83. Her pet name was Trining. Lastly, or the 11th child of Rizal and Alonso marriage is Solidad. Solidad, um, born in 1870 to 1929. She was the youngest of the Rizal children and she married a guy named Pantaleon Quintero of Calamba. Her nickname or pet name was Cholen. So, for the, for the three child of Rizal and Alonso, um, it is in your soft copy. I'm so sorry in the PowerPoint, I did not um, include it. But in your PPT, nasali yun siya. So, take note with a soft copy, please download it. So, that was the siblings of Dr. Jose Rizal. So, take note with the year that the siblings born and died and of course the person that in, includes in the life of the siblings and and those pet names and nicknames it is very important because it is included to your first examination so aside from the siblings of uh, Dr. Jose Rizal, let's know also the women the women involved or involved in doc of Dr. Jose Rizal. Or the woman that being loved by Dr. Jose Rizal. So let's start with this women. Okay. Women of Rizal, sorry, women of Rizal, there was there were at least nine women, but eventually um, the woman, the exact um, number of women of women of Dr. Jose Rizal is actually twelve. Not nine. Randomly yan ha, hindi pagkasunod-sunod. Randomly, but 12 talaga siya, not nine. But basically, those references, it, it, it said that it is only nine. But in other references, my 12 siya na babae sa buhay niya. So, the nine women linked with Rizal, namely Segunda Katimbak, Leonor Valenzuela, Leonor Rivera, Consuelo Ortiga, Osesan, the Japanese woman, Gertrude Bucket, Beckett, Nelly Busted, Susan Hakobe, and, Jose and Josephine Brack. This woman might have been beguiled by his intelligent charm and wit. Okay, so let's know now the woman behind or the woman that being loved by our national hero. Let's start with the first love. Okay, they said first love never dies unless your first love is already engaged to be married when you met. Then you have to let it go really fast. Okay, such was the case of Dr. Sarizal and his first love named Segunda Katibak. Segunda Katibak was his first love and also known as a puppy love. Unfortunately, his first love was engaged to be married to a townmate, Manuel Luz. Kaya nga, may quotation tayo before, before knowing that person because it is actually connected or it is actually being, being done by that situation na hindi yung napakasakit, your first love, hindi kayo nagkatuluyan because you met her, you met her in the wrong time. Diba? Tama. Kasi why in that time, Segunda Candibac is already engaged with a man named Manuel Luz. Okay. Let's take a uh, let's let's know first the background of this um, woman. She was calmly 14 year old the Batingen Batingenia from Lipa City. She was also known as Paisana. But Rizal referred her in his diary as K. Okay, so um, Segunda Katigbak, known as Pashana, but Rizal called her as a K or gave her a name, a nickname as a K when Rizal writing his diary. And 
take note si Gunda Katibak also um, met by Rizal uh, where when he was only 16 years old. So very young, so it is included in puppy love. But that puppy love gave pain in the heart of Osarizal because he met, her, he met his first love in a wrong time. Why? Because it is actually engaged with a man named Manuel Luz. So aside from that, um, um, Segunda Katimbak also uh, give an impression to our national hero he said she said that Rizal is a gay why because he is very talkative witty virginal attractive alluring and beguiling that is actually the description of Segunda Kadikba nowadays of course nowadays parehas din siya with with us experience natin when we met a guy that is very talkative that is very witty we eventually judge it as a gay but but they said that um do not judge the book by its cover so let's yun din yung nangyari kay Segunda Kadibak kinilala niya muna masyado muna si Jose Rizal bago niya that was the first impression lang naman that he's that she said that that Jose Rizal is a gay for being talkative man so Rizal fell in love with his first romance. Segunda was a boarding student at the Colegio de la Concordia, where his sister Olympia and his future fiance Leonor Rivera also studied. So Rizal found out later that Segunda was engaged to be married to her townmate Manuel Luz. So that was the the story of or the love story of the first romance of Dr. Rizal by Segunda to the girl named Segunda Katimbak. So, then, eventually, after that love story, a woman, another woman came or saved Jose Rizal, and that woman named Leonor Valenzuela. Leonor Valenzuela is a tall girl from Pang... Pagsanja, Pagsanghan, sorry, with the word. Rizal sent her love notes written in invisible ink that could only be disappeared over the warmth of the lamp or candle so ha, can you can you can you can you see how Jose Rizal is very sweet and very witty with regards of courting a girl so that could only be disappeared over the warmth of the lamp or candle he visited her own on the eve of his departure to Spain and bade her a last goodbye. So that was Leonor Valenzuela. So let's let's know her, her first. Leonor Valenzuela is the winsome. Winsome and basically people call her Orang of Pagsanghan, Laguna. Orang was the daughter of Capitan Juan and Capitana Sanday Valenzuela. Orang was taller, as I've said with the regal bearing. Rizal, who was a medical student in UST or the University of Santo Tomas, the school of Rizal, used to visit the Valenzuela home. Later, he courted Leonor Valenzuela and, of course, sent her, as I've said, a note written by invisible ink. Orang can read it by using a candle or a lamp. So that was the love story of Leonor Valenzuela. But that love story ended because Jose Rizal will be departed to Spain and bade her a last goodbye. So that was the, the love story of Dr. Jose Rizal and Leonor Valenzuela. But hindi dyan natatapos ang babae niya. With that, in, with, in that case, he, all, he met again another woman named Leonor Rivera. Leonor Rivera, he, uh, his sweetheart for 11 years, played the greatest, greatest influence, influence in keeping him from falling in love with other women during his travel. Unfortunately, Leonor's mother disapproved of her daughter's relationship with Rizal, who was then a known filibustero. She hid from Leonor all letters sent sent to her sweetheart Leonor believing that Rizal had already forgotten her sadly consented her to marry the Englishman Henry Keeping or her mother's choice so eventually the love story of Leonor Rivera ended also because of the what 
because of Rizal being a traveler. In that time when Rizal traveling in um, different country, um, Leonor Rivera also, uh, Leonor Rivera in that time, nalungkot din siya. Why? Because akala niya nakalimutan siya ni Jose Rizal that time. And biglang, biglang itong mama or the mother of Leonor Rivera um, give her an or may pinakilala siyang lalaki named Henry Keeping na yun yung ma, yun yung gusto ng mama niya para sa kanya eventually Henry married ma, married the woman of Rizal which is Leonor Rivera so let's take a look with the with the description of Jose Rizal in Leonor Rivera Leonor Rivera's Dr. Jose Rizal described it as a beautiful fair fail looking Collegiala or a high school level when she was 13 years old and she got engaged engaged before the age of 15. Rizal met her when he was a medical student of USD again and Leonor is a Collegiala of Colegio or the school of Leonor is in Colegio de la Concordia. Rizal left her in the Philippines when he went abroad. So that is why I've said that in that time, um, Leonor, Leonor uh, Rivera sadly consented her to marry another guy because Jose Rizal is now left or is now traveling or departure with other country. So their, their relationship was actually a love affair by correspondence wherein Rizal wrote several letters but because of the 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 hatred of the mother of Re, mother of Leonor Rivera to Rizal because he is a filibustero giha na hinayd or tinago lahat ni Rivera lahat ng notes or lahat ng love letter ni Rizal na binigay niya kay Leonor. So she was she was the woman immortalized by Rizal as Maria Clara in his No Limitaring Re. So please take note with that that um, that Maria Clara is actually the description of her of Leonor Rivera. Okay, so that was the love story of Leonor Rivera and Doctor Jose Rizal. But Again and again, hindi nagtatapos ang babae o ang love story ni Jose Rizal. Meron na naman siyang na-meet another, another girl or another woman named Consuelo Ortiga. Consuelo Ortiga E. Ray is the prettier of Don Pablo Ortiga's daughters. Fell in love with him. He dedicated to her to her, a la senorita, or the initial of Consuelo, which became one of his best points. The Ortega's residence in Madrid was frequented by Rizal and his compatriots. He probably fell in love with her and Consuelo apparently asked him for romantic verses. He suddenly backed out before the relationship turned into a serious romance because he wanted to remain loyal to Leonor Rivera and he did not want to destroy or hide friendship with Eduardo Delete who was madly in love with Consuelo so that's why that is the reason why the love story of Leonor Rivera is and Jose Rizal is uh, also known as love affair by correspondence why because in that time pala um, Jose Rizal has been attracted to another girl which is named Consuelo Ortiga but he hide it and he did not pursue per, pursue it why because he still loyal to his girlfriend which is in that time Leonor Rivera At, aside from that he is also still loyal with his friend Eduardo Dilete who was madly in love with Consuelo so that was the love story or let's say a quick love story of Consuelo Ortega because um, in that time it Consuelo be, Consuelo is an affair but we cannot say it is an affair kasi hindi naman yun pinursu ni Jose Rizal nagkagusto lang siya or let's say na-attract lang siya let's say for example you have a boyfriend but you are attracted to another 
another guy, pero hindi mo naman tinuloy because you are still loyal. Ganyan lang. That is the situation between Jose Rizal and Consuelo Ortega. But, the important event with this love story is that Jose Rizal gave her or dedicated her a poem with which leads to a best poem in that time. Namely, or entitled, A La Senorita, with the initial of Consuelo, which is Consuelo Ortiga E. Ray. So that is the very important part in the love story of Consuelo and Rizal. So let's continue our this. Let's continue the woman of Jose Rizal to a girl, to a very, very special girl named Osisan. Osisan is a Japanese samurai's daughter, taught Rizal the Japanese art of painting, known as Sumi. She also helped Rizal improve his knowledge of Japanese language. If Rizal was a man without, without a patriotic mission, he would have married this lovely and intelligent woman and live a stable and happy life with her in Japan because Spanish legation in that time offered him a lucrative job. So in that time when Rizal traveling in Japan, he met a very, very beautiful and lovely um, girl named Osisan. So Osisan in that time um, give help or um, she is the reason why Jose Rizal also survived in Japan because Osisan gave her a, a, a help which is those simple help that eventually um, Rizal uses. What are those? By introducing Rizal to those art, Japanese art painting, which is very helpful to Rizal. And aside from that, um, Osisan also um, teaches Jose Rizal how to speak Japanese. So if Rizal in that time walang mission, wala siyang kailangan, kailangan um, gawin sa ating bansa, Baka ngayon, Osisan, si Osisan talagang nakatuloyan niya, not Josephine Bracken. Okay, so it said that also Rizal is, Rizal's great love for Osisan was attested in one of his diary, Rizal said. So this is the quotation that you can, you can actually read in the diary of Rizal. Take, take, a, no, uh, take a note with this, please, please um, watch this, uh, please listen carefully. Rizal said that, to you, I I, I, to you, I dedicate the final chapter of these memoirs of my youth. No woman like you has ever loved me. No woman like you has ever sacrificed for me. Osisan, sayonara, sayonara. So that was the statement or that was the quotation of Dr. Rosario Sal in his diary that actually um, they dedicated to his greatest love. Osisan. So by bidding a goodbye, by bidding a sayonara is very painful, no? But eventually we will we will understand later on why a, a superhero like Jose Rizal or a national hero like Jose Rizal cannot um, love fully a certain woman or cannot have a family that is very happy because in that time meron talaga siyang mission. So but hindi din dyan nagtatapos ang babae or ang woman na na, na, na nabighani sa katalinuhan at kabaitan at of course the charm of our national hero let's know again another woman named Gertrude Beckett while Rizal was in London annotating the successes de las Islas Filipinas he boarded in the house of the Beckett family Within walking distance of the British Museum, Gertrude, a blue-eyed and buxom girl, was the oldest of the three Beckett daughters. She fell in love with Rizal. Tutti helped him in his painting and sculpture, but Rizal suddenly left London for Paris to avoid Gertrude, Jet Gertrude who was seriously in love with him. Before leaving London, he was able to finish the group carving of the Beckett sister. He gave the group carving to Gertrude as a sign of their brief relationship. So it's, it's very painful again with the side of Gertrude Beckett because Rizal, unfortunately, will be traveling again to Paris. London, 
for Paris or left London for Paris for another mission and also for avoiding Gertrude because in that time talaga Jose Rizal has no time for love he was a man that has a goal and a mission so for him love is just a inspiration in that time hindi talaga siya meron there is a so called relationship pero hindi tagtatagal bakit kasi nagtra-travel siya time to time to different places for his mission so that was a very painful but painful to the side of Gertrude Beckett but meron pa ring iniwan si Rizal for the remember uh, for remembering this girl that that he she was a part of Rizal's life by a uh, art which is a carving Jose Rizal um, finished the carving uh, of the Beckett sister and later on before leaving London he gave it to Gertrude so that was the pain, pain, very painful um, love story of Gertrude Beckett and Dr. Jose Rizal but again and again hindi pa dyan nagtatapos another girl uh, another girl interrupted the mind or distracted the 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 mind and the heart of our national hero named Nelly. Nelly, sorry, Nelly Boston. Nelly is Rizal having a loss with Leonor Rivera in that time. Entertain the thought of courting. As I've said, those girls that I've mentioned is randomly ha, hindi siya pagkasunod-sunod. Time to time, Rizal met a girl randomly. So this girl is Nelly Boston, but uh, Rizal met him having a loss loss of Leonor Rivera in that time meaning it's Rizal is very broken hearted to Leonor Rivera he he entertained the thought of courting other ladies because yun na nga, he is now in a part or situation of moving on but using another woman is not a choice diba tama ba ako totoo naman um, moving on is moving on is actually a word that can um, can only imply by yourself, not by using others. But in this time, Jose Rizal used another woman or entertain another thought of have of being a broken hearted to a girl, Nelly Boston. Binigay niya yung attention niya kasi broken hearted siya with the name Leonor Rivera with a girl, another girl Leonor Rivera, and he inter and he entertained the thought the thought sorry that he will. He will court this young lady because for him to surpass the broken hearted or the moving on part. Well, a guest of the Bosted family at the residence in the resort city of Biarritz, he had befriended the two pretty daughters of his host. Eduardo Bosted, Rizal used to fence with the sisters at the studio of Juan Luna or Antonio Luna. Who wants brothers and also frequent visitor of the Boston courted Nelly, but she was deeply infatuated with Rizal. In the in a party held by Filipinos in Madrid, a drunken Antonio Luna uttered unsavory remarks against Nelly Boston. This prompted Rizal to challenge Luna into a duel. Boston, a uh, duel. Fortunately, Luna apologized to Rizal, thus averting tragedy for the compatriots. Their love affair, unfortunately, did not end in marriage. It failed because Rizal refused to be converted to the Protestant faith as Nelly demanded and Nelly's mother did not like a position without enough paying clientele to be son-in-law the lovers, however, parted as a good friends when Rizal left in Europe. So, the tragedy between the love story of Nelly Boston started by what? By not, by the thought of Rizal being refused to be converted to be Protestant faith. Yan. Yan yung tragedy ng nangyari. Bakit hindi nagkatuluyan ang dalawa? Kasi nga, yun yung nangyari. Hindi hindi pumayag si Rizal na magpa-convert into Protestant faith which is very which is the mother of Nelly is very against and aside from that Nelly's mother is also against with Rizal being a physician without an enough client 
Meaning in that time, position nga si Rizal, pero hindi naman siya known, hindi naman karamihan yung mga mga pasyente niya or nakakakilala sa kanya. So in that thought, mother, mothers of Nelly is very against to si Rizal. That is why hindi sila nagkatuluyan, but the good thing, they remain friends. Yan yung, yan yung pinaka yan yung pinaka mahalaga na nangyari sa kanila kasi naging kaibigan sila. Before ma- pa umalis si Jose Rizal sa Europe, he he gave a closure that that Nelly is deserved and of course himself then afterwards they decided to be friends. So aside from Nelly, of course, meron pang another woman that being interrupted or that being dis- that Jose Rizal has been distracted with, we have Susan Hakobe. Susan, in 1890, Rizal moved to Brussels because of the high cost of living in Paris, of course. In that country, very high, um, ma- what we call this, um, in that country, very rich with so- so-called financially. So in that time, as I've said, even though Rizal is very rich in that time, hinahabol na siya ng Spaniards. Nakikilala na siya na as a, as a filibustero. So, meaning hindi na, wala nang way na nakakapagpadala ng pera yung family niya with Rizal. So, later on, we will be discussing that one, yung nangyayari sa travel ni Rizal. So, along the traveling part, he met again a girl named Susan Hakobe. In Brussels, he lived in the boarding house of the two Hakobe sisters. In time, they fell deeply in love with each other. Susan cried when Rizal left Brussels and wrote him when he was in Madrid. So, of course, another painful goodbyes, another painful sayonara with regards to this. Why? Because, again, Rizal is a guy with a mission. So, time to time, he will be traveling country. So, it's very difficult to have a relationship where where you cannot see her time to time. Kasi nasa ibang bansa ka, di ba? Nasa ibang bansa ka, pinaglala, pinaglalaban kung ano yung, yung dapat. Pero hindi mo naman magawang ipaglaban yung pagmamahal mo. Kasi, or hindi mo naman ip, ma, maipaglaban yung sarili mo na may karapatan ka naman magmahal because you, you, uh, you, what they call you, you choose to be a man that actually, the, the reason or to be a man that protected a certain country. So, gustong ipaglaban ng certain country. Kaya nga, napakahirap ang sitwasyon ni, ni Jose Rizal. Para siyang, it's like a superhero. If you are a superhero, you cannot, you, you deserve to be loved, pero you cannot say na makaka, makakamahal ka ng isang tao or meron kang time na pwedeng magmahal. Kasi bakit? Kung sino kasi yung minamahal mo, lahat yun madadamay. So you have to sacrifice your own happiness. You have to sacrifice your own love. So that's, that is why, Jose Rizal, we will have to pay tribute and we will salute Jose Rizal for all the sacrifices he gave to us. He gave to the country for the so-called word independency. Okay? So that was the painful part of the love story of Susan Hakobe and Dr. Jose Rizal. But next, this is the girl met by Jose Rizal. The last, or actually the girl that married, that give, um, that offer, that Rizal offer a marriage name Jose, Josepin or Josephine Bracken. In the last days of February 1895, while still in the Pitan, Rizal met an 18-year-old petite Irish girl with bold blue eyes, brown hair, and happy disposition. She was Josephine Bracken, the adopted daughter of George Toffer from Hong Kong who came to the Pitan to seek Rizal for eye treatment. Rizal was pis- physically attracted to her, his loneliness and boredom must have taken the measure of him and what could be a better diversion than to fall in love again. But the Rizal sisters suspected Josephine as an agent of the friars and they considered her as a threat to Rizal's security. Aside from that, but, 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 ha? Kahit man sinabihan na ng, or kahit nag-aalangan yung mga kapatid ni Jose Rizal kay jo- Josephine Bakken, hindi pa rin nagpatinag si Rizal. 
Rizal asked Josephine to marry him, but she was not yet ready to make a decision due to her rest responsibility to the blind Toffer. Since Toffer's blindness when was untreatable, he left for Hong Kong on March 1895. Josephine stayed with Rizal's family in Manila upon her return to the Pitan. Rizal tried to arrange with Father Antonio Obak for their marriage. However, the priest wanted a retraction as precondition before marrying them. Rizal, upon the advice of his family and friends and with Josephine's consent, took her as his wife even without the church blessing. Josephine later gave birth prematurely. Ito na yon. To a stillborn baby, a result of some incidents which might have shocked or frightened her. So that was very painful. Even though Jose Rizal and Bracken um, 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 last as a marriage couple, but it's very painful with the first child. Nagkaroon nga sila ng, ng anak, which is a son na pinangalanan niya sa tatay niya na Francisco, pero hindi naman nabuhay. Um, when a child give uh, when uh, when Josephine Bracken gave the birth to the child, eventually he died. Kaya nga hindi hindi nagkaroon ng anak si Jose Rital that time kasi nga yung love story or the marriage or the situation in that time is very crucial. Kasi bakit? Pinaghanap or nakilala na talaga si Dr. Jose Rizal at paparating na ang execution kay Dr. Jose Rizal. Kaya wala na silang time to have with the, to have with the so-called happy family. So it's very painful. So, Aside from that, hindi rin, hindi rin basta-basta ang pag-offer ni Jose Rizal with the marriage, so-called marriage. Bakit? Kasi in that time, Josephine Brackett has, has also, has also what? Has also a mission has, or has also a, a situation na hindi niya kayang iwanan si Toffer or yung kanyang um, papa or not biological papa kasi inampon lang si Josephine kasi nga, blind siya. Kasi nga, blind yung si Toffer, kaya meron siyang meron siyang kailangang, or may mission siya na kailangang, hindi niya hindi niya pwede, di, di siya pwedeng magpakasal muna, because nga, sa kalagayan ni Toffer, which is blind. So, in that time, hindi pa, hindi pa, hindi pa siya treatable, uh, or untreatable pa si Toffer, kaya yun, gi-refuse niya muna yung, mar yung marriage na in-offer ni Jose Rizal. But, the time na bumalik naman siya, yun na. Nagpakasal sila, but take note, without the blessings of the church, because of this so-called Father Antonio Obak that has, meron siyang own re, uh, precondition with Rizal. So, eventually, Rizal decided that even though there is no church blessing, Josephine Bracken is his wife. Okay, so, that would be the, the woman, the nine women of Rizal, but, as I've said, there are, uh, there are women pa, sa life ni Jose Rizal. Meron pa siyang tatlong babae na nabighani. Or nabighani siya dito sa tatlong babae na is not mentioned with the with my with my other reference but reference but with the other reference na mention yung tatlo. So let's have Vicenta Ibardolosa. I've already considered it as a woman of Rizal kaya ko siya nilagay doon sa soft copy niyo ha. Or in Basically, nasa reference din siya. So, don't worry with that. Vicenta Ibardulosa is a pretty girl, kolehiyala, or a high school level at the time. Rizal was infatuated with a young girl of Paquil, Laguna, who skillfully played the harp at the Regal Lado home. Um, nobody knew what happened later between the two. So, basically, it's a very quick relationship. Um, it's, it's actually, by the description of Jose Rizal, he was... Uh, attracted. Yun lang talaga yung situation. Attracted in that time when this girl nagpakita ng talent, nagpakita ng skillfully played the harp at regalado home. So that that is why Jose Rizal being being attracted to this woman. So very quick relationship with Santa Ibardolosa. Take note with that. Another one is Margarita Alame, Al, Almeda Gomez or known as Miss L. Margarita was the second love of Rizal. She was a young woman from Paquil, Laguna, was called simply as Miss L by Rizal. This young woman was believed to be Leonor Valenzuela, but she was not Miss L. And with and described by Rizal as with fair complexion, seductive, and with 
attractive eyes. Their romance died a natural, uh, natural death for two reasons. First, resolved memory of Segunda was still fresh in his heart. And second, Resolve Father objected the love affair of Resolve with Miss L. So eventually, along the way of the history, um, many people known as Miss L for Leonora, Leonora Valenzuela. But no, Miss L is Margarita Almeda Gomez. That is why I've used so many references para makag so that I can give you the correct information. So Margarita Almeda is also known as Miss L. So, it's very painful again yung pagkakahiwalay nila because of the two reason, the memory of Segunda Katibag. Yan talaga. If you're not finished to love someone, do not love. Huwag ka munang magmahal ulit. Bakit? May masasaktan kang tao. Kasi, hindi mo pa, hindi mo, hindi ka pa tapos or you're not fully give your attention to an, to that woman kasi bakit? May hindi ka pa, you have an unfinished business business to another woman so take note guys do not love if you are not yet done loving the the first woman you love ha huh? wag mo nang magmahal ng bago kung hindi ka patapos another 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 um paalala or reminders with you guys do not also use a person to have this so called moving on ha huh? wag ganon that is very, very bad in the situation of that woman. Kasi kailangan mo lang siya, or you, eventually you use it, pero let's say na mama, mama, mamahalin mo rin siya eventually, but the first thought that you've used it for moving on, that is very wrong, which is um, na, na nagawa ni Dr. Hesarizal kay Nelly Boston. So that was the reminders that I've given to you. Ha? Do not love us, someone if you are not finished to love the first the, the first woman or the first love that you've taken. Secondly, do not use a woman or do not use another guy to forget another guy. Huh? To have this so-called moving on or moving forward. Do not use that one. Moving on, start with yourself. Okay. Start with what? Start to accept. That is moving on. Acceptance is moving on. Do not use another person. You have to use this word acceptance okay so so much for that love advice let's go with pastora necessary necessario pastora necessario is also known or has a pet name or nickname tora by her friends she was beautiful shy type weaver of cloth at the pitan as a sign of love rizal gave her a statue of you of woman and also sent her letters of love and concern when Rizal was executed in Bagumbayad, or now in Luneta or Rizal Park, she married Gonzalo Carion of the Pitan. So in that time, hindi rin, hindi rin nagkaroon ng pagkakataon itong pastora na, ses, na, ses, na cesario na ito. Why? Because of... Because of the, the, execu the execution part of Dr. Cerisal. So, wala. So, it's, they ended also very painful. So, that was the end of the woman of Dr. Cerisal. Yan yung, yan yung mga babae na nabighani si Dr. Cerisal sa kanila at, at of course, yung mga babae nyo nabighani also with our national hero. Kasi, if we, if we, if we, ano, see those attitude, those characteristics of Dr. Sarisal. If you are a girl, eventually you will, you will fall in love with a guy like that. With a guy that to sacrifice all, but with regards to the mission, hindi ka pwedeng mahalin. For me, it's okay. Kasi, yung part pa lang that you have, you have a chance to, to be attractive with him, it's very, very, very um, good one. Pero yung hindi man kayo magkatuloyan, it's okay. Because that guy has sacrificed us all. So that was the end of our discussion for this uh, day. And let's take, and let's end the day with a quote. He who would love much has also much to suffer. Dr. Jose Rizal. So that was a very, very good quotation to end this um, discussion. That is very good to connect. That is very good to explain everything. That Jose Rizal can be loved. 
You can be loved with Sarisal. Sarisal can, can also uh, give you a love. But the end, you can suffer everything. Why? Because of this so-called mission, because of this so-called sacrifices that the man should give to have the independency of his country. So that is the life or that is the love story of Dr. Sarisal. So whether we like it or not, hindi talaga nagbunga lahat. Hindi talaga lahat naging perfect with the life of Oserizal. Yes. Um siguro yung pina pinaka achievement that he he ano he gained for the sacrifices is that we so called have this independence. Ngayon, Philippines is Philippines is actually a uh, country na hindi na kailangan magdepende sa ibang country because nakatayo na siya ng, sa kanya lang because of the help of our na very brave national hero Dr. Sarisal. So thank you very much for your um, for listening today. So if you did not understand my discussion, you can um, you can listen it over and over again uh, uh, and understand it over and over again para ma kuha niyo yung punto ng discussion. So, thank you very much for listening. So, again, I miss Ma'am Pehana, your, uh, your social science or SOCSI 12, re the life of Rizal teacher. So, thank you very much. If you have a questions, clarifications with regards to the, to the discussion today, you can send or you can direct message me in our GC on you can, or you can message me in our messenger. So, um, next week, we will be having an oral recitation pertaining to this lesson. So, good day everyone and stay safe. Thank you!